Nation, stand up and welcome back to the channel and welcome to day number five of the scoff. That is the super king of the hill tournament. Remember, this is a this is a, this is a quite a lengthy tournament. We have 48 days over. I want to say we're around 500 trucks. Oh man, I'm starting to get a hiccup. Had to had to cut the scene short. But anywho, guys, a huge tournament is still in front of us. We have so many days of racing left. And if you guys saw my most recent video on Hawkeye Holler 2, Hawkeye Holler 2 is going away and transitioning into a Funko Pop channel. So I highly recommend if you're subscribed to Hawkeye Holler 2 and not here, do so because we will be racing Hot Wheels starting very, very soon here on the main channel once again. So we're going to go from two uploads to three uploads a week here on this channel. Two videos being Sunday and Wednesday, 10 a.m. Central Time for Monster Truck Racing BBTs. And then every, I'm thinking Friday, Friday at 10 a.m. Central U.S. Standard Time, we will have a Hot Wheels event. Nothing concrete yet what the Hot Wheels event will be. It'll probably be something different every week, but that is what you guys can look forward to here on this channel. I know YouTube does not like it when you intermix kind of ki different kinds of content, but regardless, this is still diecast racing. We still love our BBTs. They will still be king tut here on this channel, but we are going to integrate Hot Wheels back into this channel. Baby steps, but hey, you guys, we hit 11,000 subscribers here on this channel. Thank you guys so very much. You guys truly rock. Seriously, it brought me to tears when I was filming the goodbye video for Hawkeye Holler 2. I, I, I cannot thank you guys enough. The, the, this has been one hell of a ride, and it's all because of you guys, the Hawkeye Holler Nation. But one more house cleaning thing I need to get done and out of the way, guys. I am selling my whole Hot Wheels collection again you guys saw that video here on this channel. I highly recommend you head to my eBay store, pick something up. It's all race and screen use diecast from the channel. Granted, we didn't race the 124 scale NASCARs. We didn't race the cars that are still factory sealed, new and boxed, but we raced all the Hot Wheels ID cars. We raced almost all of those Hot Wheels. So that's it. It does support the channel so very much. Again, we are getting ready to gear up for a huge move. Yeah, anywho. If you guys want to become a Patreon member, again, help support the channel. It's $5 a month or kick it here on YouTube for $2.99 a month. Those are my YouTube memberships. Again, everything you do supports the channel and it funds videos just like this. But that's enough of the house cleaning. Let's go ahead, get to day number five, Super King of the Hill. The most famous words in diecast racing are about to begin. Let's meet our contestants. Man, oh man, I can hear these trucks rumbling into the hauler. We have 12 trucks ready to race. And now, remember, rule change for this year's Super King of the Hill. The king is safe until the finale, but we introduced the catbird seat, and right now, Bear Devil undefeated at this catbird seat. So what the catbird seat is, it's a guaranteed spot in the king round to take on the king, to potentially get that crown. This guy right here, Invader, took down Recreational, who was looking at becoming a six-time king of the hill, but Invader said, nah, nah, bruh. Not today, new king is here. So right now, Bear Devil looking at taking down the king, but he is not safe. At the end of every video, we will have a catbird seat round. Best of three, first truck to win two. Right now, Bear Devil's undefeated. All right, 12 trucks are ready. The Hummer, the Jurassic Park Jeep, look at that Corvette, Land Rover. Then we got, what is that? Oh, we got the Wolf. Then we got the Walrus, another muddy Jeep. Roger Dodger, the Poison Pinto, Volkswagen Bug, the Gold Mega Rex, and Poppy. So, if you guys are new to King of the Hill Racing, if you're new to Hawkeye Holler, welcome. Subscribe, ring the bell. Never miss a future upload. This is how this tournament shakes up. We put a truck here in lanes one and two, five and six. We drop the gates. They go racing down the scale. Quarter mile drag strip. That's over 18 feet of track. First one to cross the finish line is the winner. Moves on to the next round. Losing truck goes home. When we do this in rounds, we're ready to race. We got three cameras. Don't forget the grandstand cam is the bonus footage at the end of this video. You don't want to miss it, especially when these trucks, you know, well, as you guys can see, they go into the grandstands. Slow-mo cam for the finish line. We're racing. Here we go for race number one on day five of the Scoth. We got the Hummer and the Jurassic Park Jeep. It is time for the most famous words in diecast racing. Hawkeye Holler Nation, I can hear you all around the world. Say it with me. Day number five of the Super King of the Hill is underway. Let's drop those gates. 
Down and away, it's gonna be the Hummer! Oh yeah, the mighty Hummer. I know this truck has potential. I would love to see how far he makes it in this tournament. Maybe goes up against Bear Devil. Jurassic Park Jeep, you out of here. Up next, you have the red Corvette taking on the Land Rover Defender. The buildup for this tournament was unreal, you guys. You guys supported this move so very much, and I'm having so much fun with this. And we're only at day five. Let's go. Down and away. Oh, Corvette on the big end. The Land Rover got a little wobbly, but the Corvette stood on the gas and passed him. He is moving on. Land Rover Defender, out of here. Oh, you know there's going to be trouble when this truck enters the chat. It's the Walrus taking on the White Wolf. Those dairy delivery body styles seem to be the best of the best. Let's go. Oh, look at that lead of dairy delivery. I knew this truck was going to be tough. He is advancing to the next round. We will grab the wolf and line him up over here. Coming up next, you have a dirtied up Jeep taking on Roger Dodger. Right now, lanes one and two, where that Jeep is, there are the money lanes. All right, here we go once again. Let's go. Oh, too wide of the line. Too wide at the line in favor of Roger Dodger. This, as I said, lanes one and two were the money lane. The tides are shifting. There we go. You know, it looks like a 392 Jeep. You can tell, it looks like about that way because of the cowl. The Volkswagen Bug and the Poison Pin are next. Look at those shades of green. Love it. Let's keep in mind, Recreation was nearly a two-year king between his several different reigns. That's pretty incredible. Let's go. Oh, good drag. Oh, there goes the Bug. Our first wipeout of the day brings us to the bug. He's going home. I love that paint scheme though. Poison Pinto looking real good. Moves on. Another heavy hitter is here to finish up the first round. It's the Gold Mega Rex and Poppy. All right, let's finish up this first round. Who advances? Who goes home? Let's go. Oh, Mega Rex. We've had one Trolls champion before, right there, but Princess Poppy, not so much. They are going home. Mega Rex is still in this. Here we go. Six trucks remain. Who makes it to the final three? It's going to be the Hummer taking on the Corvette to start the second round. Hummer, Corvette, General Motors versus General Motors. Let's go. Oh, it's going to be the Corvette. That Corvette is fast. Now 
Now, don't forget, we had a Corvette become the Rainbow Road King of the Hill back in the day. This Corvette is moving on. I think it has something to do with these hubbed wheels. They just, they're a little bit more aerodynamic. Hummer eliminated. All right, here we go. We got the Walrus Dairy Delivery taking on Roger Dodger. Oh man, if Dairy Delivery goes down, it will be a huge surprise. Let's go. Jeez Louise. Dairy Delivery moving on to the final three. We'll put him right there. Roger Dodger put up a good showing. Just wasn't enough. One final showdown before we move into the final, well, not the final, you know, the third round. Poison Pinto takes on Mega Rex. All right, Poison Pinto, Mega Rex. Who moves on? Let's go. Oh, Poison Pinto. All right, did not see that coming. Poison Pinto looking really good. We'll put him right there with the final three. Take Mega Rex, line him up over there. All right, we have three trucks moving into this next round. This is how it's gonna shape up. First, it will be the red Corvette taking on Dare Delivery. The losing truck between these two will take on the Poison Pinto, and you need to lose two races to be completely eliminated from competition. One of these trucks will take on Bear Devil in the Catbird Seat round. Who will lose the first race? Will it be Dairy Delivery or the Corvette? Once again, the loser will take on Poison Pinto. Here we go. Guys, that Corvette kept up with him, but wasn't enough. All right, Dairy Delivery will strike first, but it was so close at the end. The Corvette now takes on the Poison Pinto. Hey, look, there we are. Hi. Corvette takes on Poison Pinto. If the Corvette loses, they are eliminated and going home. Now, this is where things start to get interesting. If the Poison Pinto loses, the Corvette is still in this. Let's go. Look at that Corvette. And that is what I mean. Things are going to get interesting. The Corvette stays alive. Now it's time for the Poison Pinto to take on Dairy Delivery. Now this is where things get real interesting. If Dairy Delivery loses, we're at a draw currently. Poison Pinto takes on Dairy Delivery. Now we all know Dairy Delivery is the fastest truck, but that means he is more likely to crash out. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Just, oh, whoa! And that is what I mean. Dairy delivery bounce off the sidewall in front of Poison Pinto with Poison Pinto pushing him through the finish gate. That means Poison Pinto is eliminated. Dairy delivery still in this. Let's go again. All right, now keep in mind, Corvette is at a loss. If he loses, he's eliminated. Dairy delivery still undefeated. This could be the final race between these two. If the Corvette loses, Dairy Delivery moves on to the Catbird seat. Let's go. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be the vet. Winner, winner. It's gonna be close.
Oh my goodness, the Corvette strikes down Dairy Delivery. We are both at one loss apiece. We're doing this once more. One advances, one goes home. Dairy Delivery versus the Corvette for one final time. Will it be the Corvette? Will it be Dairy Delivery? Who's it gonna be? Down and away we go, too wide at the line. Two wide at the line. That was so dang close, but it is Dairy Delivery moving on to take on Bear Devil. The Corvette gave it their all, just wasn't enough for that final race. A major heavyweight battle gets ready for this cat bird seat round. This is a best of three first truck to win two. If we go into a third race, of course we do a Hawkeye hauler style, that's a backbreaker. Bear Devil, the cat bird seat right now. Dairy Delivery looking to take it away. Let's go. Good race, Dairy Delivery. Oh my goodness, Dairy Delivery striking first. We're gonna switch lanes and do it again. The lanes are switched and we are ready to go once again. Bear Devil looking to lose that catbird seat. If Bear Devil manages to get this victory, we will go into a backbreaker. Here we go. Oh, too wide at the line, Bear Devil. Oh my goodness, you guys, this Super King of the Hill tournament is absolutely crazy. We're going into a backbreaker. Hawkeye Holler Nation, stand up and make some noise. We are here. If you guys are new to the channel, a backbreaker is something we do here on the channel to defend, not to defend, to determine a winner. This is a third and final race. We race them backwards, Bear Devil. Dairy Delivery one more time. Keep in mind, Bear Devil has won so many races via the backbreaker. One final time, Hawkeye Holler Nation, say it with me. Who's it gonna be? Oh, what? <laughs> that was sick. Oh my goodness, the little spin of Rooney and on his lid for Bear Devil takes it down and another backbreaker still in the catbird seat. How about that? True Hawkeye Holler fashion, the final race is always the best race. Once again, undefeated goes Bear Devil. Dairy Delivery gave it his all. That is a wrap for day five. Let's wrap it up. So once again, Bear Devil is still eye to eye with Invader. Again, we inch closer to that big finale, but we still have a long ways to go. Day six, trucks are here and lined up and ready to go. I am super excited for it. I cannot wait to see you guys back here. So do me all the good stuff. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Definitely make sure you're part of the Hawkeye Holler Nation today. Not only here, but also on the Pop Holler, which is linked down below. That is my second channel. Remember, there is no Hawkeye Holler 2 anymore because Hot Wheels Racing is coming back to the main channel. But with that being said, Support the channel via Patreon, $5 a month. Support it here on YouTube for $2.99 a month. Or head to my eBay store, pick up some race and screen use Hot Wheels. You guys can get them pretty cheap over there. Get your NASCAR diecast, get your cars diecast. Tons of good stuff on my eBay store. It helps support the channel so very much, especially right before this move. But with that being said and out of the way, again, 
like the video. It helps this guy so very much. 11,000 subscribers on the road to 20,000. I cannot thank you guys enough. Also, if you guys like watching TikTok, Hawkeye Holler is coming back to TikTok as well. Lots of projects in the works, and I hope you guys are ride are along for the whole, 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 whole ride. I love you guys. Thank you so very much for supporting the channel. You guys truly are amazing. Peace, love, and die cast racing. I will see you back here at the holler for another video. I am out of here. And toodaloo, babies. Hey, number five of the Super King of the Hill is underway. Let's drop those gates. Let's go. Bet on the big end. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, too wide of a line. That's pretty incredible. Let's go.